अनुग्रहितोस्मि अद्य अहम् यत् मम ज्येष्ठा हा ज्ञानवृद्धा हा तपोवृद्धा हा मम सुहृद्वर्या हा मम कार्यम् संस्कृत कार्यम् सांकेतिक अक्षेत्रे अभिनंदनीयम् इति मन्यन्ते अहम् तो स्वम् शिशु हुई त्येवा मन्ये यस्य संस्कृत ज्ञान त्रुष्णा दिना दिना प्रवर्धमाना एवा अस्ति सा एवा त्रुष्णा महिम प्रेरयति श्रोतुम् शक्नु अंतिवा सर्वे किंचित् संस्कृत माध्यमे न उक्तवा तदनंतरम् आंगले वदामि तहिया ताहुक्तम् सात्रुष्णा सर्वदा वर्धते एव सायवत्रुष्णा माम् प्रेरयति अध्ययने स्वाध्यायने अध्यापने च निपुणः तु नास्मि कस्मिना पिक्षेत्रे परन्तु यावत् शक्यम् कार्यम् करोमि and that was what brought me here and that's what inspires me the amount of knowledge systems that we have in Sanskrit, it's just an endless ocean. And it all just started as a hobby. I was just curious about the language. This Sanskrit was just among one of the many languages. I was just dabbling with Japanese, French, Spanish, uh, German, all sorts of foreign languages which the youth fancy. And Sanskrit was just one of them. And uh, uh, it just swallowed me whole and, and transformed my entire way of life, my perspective of living. and it took me on a path of yoga and spirituality and adhyatma and which I'm extremely grateful for in my life. But as I was saying, uh, the study of Sanskrit and the teaching of Sanskrit is what has been of immense value in my life and that is what I experienced. I came a couple of days early to take advantage of the hospitality of the <laughs> Madras Sanskrit College and sat with the students there. Hi guys. Uh, and it's just amazing to see that the students here are so dedicated, it's quite different from how, and they realize it. Generally, students who take Sanskrit, unfortunately, um, it's, Sanskrit is not one among the top options for students in, in at large. But the students here of a, are of a different caliber altogether, and uh, sitting in their classes, I realize the potential that they have, and I talk to them a little bit about, uh, about the scope of success there is, because as uh, Hariharan Mahodaya was saying, I did mention that, unfortunately or fortunately, there is so much, so, so much to be done in Sanskrit. And even if it has been done in the past, something like Ramayanam, Sanskrit, something like Mahabharatam, Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, even if people do it a thousand times and do it a thousand first time, there are still going to be audiences. And like that, there are millions of topics to cover and the li every time I go to a library, I just go into a TZ, just looking at the amount of, amount of knowledge there is. I just borrowed a couple of books, Tantra Samuchaya, which talks about the proportions of temple idols. And there is a specific geometry in which they are made. There is enormous science behind creation of each aspect of the temple. And as technology progresses, as Sanskrit people know how to leverage these technological media and present these these aspects of of our past in a media which is which is uh, tangible uh, for and, and which is which people can see and immediately appreciate watch for five minutes some small concept because not everybody is as committed as these students here who come for three years stay in a committed atmosphere but they can be torch bearers of this knowledge to the future and uh, i was in a uh, blessed space where i had this uh, this knowledge of how to leverage technology. I was working in the tech field, but at the same time, somehow by some sort of grace, happened to come across Sanskrit and got deeper to some extent I could in the field. So my doors are always open. And the initial topic that I thought uh, for my talk today would be just give some tips and tricks of the trade as to how to make videos, how to present, what kind of you know metrics to keep in mind to gather people's attention because that is what it's all going to be about. It's about how you get people's attention to the subject that you are interested in presenting. But after coming here, after looking at the amount of dedication and devotion they have towards their, their learning, um, I feel proud that I'm a part of, a, I mean, I get to interact with students like this. Krishna Swami Mahodayasya Murthi Asti Tatra just looking at it, I just get a sense of pride 
looking at his face there is the sense of utmost you know the sense of devotion and pride that comes with devotion of of dedicating one's life to something which is much 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 higher than one's own self and they are already on a path towards that and uh, coming to the topic that i planned anyways uh, the media that is going to be for the future is completely content creator focused so right now content as it is so there are three generations of the internet as we know internet as a technology is evolving in itself the platform itself so there are so many platforms like facebook twitter youtube instagram whatever comes up uh, odc in the future and all sorts of platforms are belong to web 2.0 there was a time of the internet probably many students don't know where multimedia sending and receiving was not this uh, seamless there was a time when it was a bit of a hassle that was web 1.0 now it's web 2.0 where large corporations control who gets to see what data if you make sanskrit content or if you make something which is which doesn't go immediately viral that is why we see such uh, frivolous content uh, for a lack of a better word which goes viral people people's attention spans are getting lower and lower we are in this generation of web 2.0 where it's, it's the large corporations which control how people consume data but as there are there still there's work going on and in the next 5 to 10 years i see a pattern where the both how content is recommended to the consumers and how content creators are rewarded is going to be much much more individual centric rather than platform centric so for that what kind of media can there be be starting with basic images to audio recordings to video clippings to uh, interviews to this new form of content consumption with virtual reality and and content is becoming more and more tangible you can almost not just see and hear but also smell touch and and play around and be in that environment just content around it that's where the world is going towards and that has enormous scope as many experts in the field keep saying if there is huge exponential success that can be seen in the future it's in the field of coding and in the field of content creation so all of us there is again this uh, kind of a downer statement that the scope for anybody who takes up sanskrit is either priesthood or a teacher but those are ne need not necessarily be restricting fields because who are we essentially we are bearers of knowledge we are a bridge between the the glory glorious wisdom of our ancients and the next generations who are seeking that knowledge as we get more and more connected as people like this people keep working and and more awareness spreads and also uh, as as mahodaya suggested as yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati abhyutthanam adharmasya tadatmanam srijamya ham which does not need not necessarily also there are many interpretations but in one way of looking at it is also as frivolous content keeps growing more and more people will eventually get tired of it there is a point which where it you know kind of vexes you and then people look for deeper stuff and we need to be ready as people who are actually aware of what the potential is in our scriptures so i urge you all to uh, to just imbibe your content as much as possible just to pay attention turn inwards savidhyaya vimuktaya as mahode also suggested so and and this there is going to be enormous demand for it there already is and uh, i have been taking advantage of it alone almost and there have been a few a few people like me and uh, but i th there is there is enough room for all of us if all of us take up one text and just making short videos almost all students across the country have enough texts to make content on and we and, and as i keep saying this statement again and again in my videos bharat vishwaguru ban sakta hai bharat vishwaguru ban sakta hai is a constant trope but it is true but bharat nahi banega it's not a country which becomes it's the individual students who can rise up and and throw light on on the precious content of our past so my my doors are always open i again will interact with you guys before i go and uh, there are so many ideas as as you have already must have seen there is a shloka a day app and there are games that can come up and uh, even if you are not technically savvy you can always collaborate there are, you can always bring in resources for uh, 
for skills that you don't have and my doors are always open so please please get stronger in your own fields study deeper and uh, thank you all for uh, the opportunity for uh, and uh, thank and congratulations to the digital campus of the madras sanskrit college and thank you shubharatri sir dhanyavada mahodaya mahodayam rankavastrena एवं स्मारक वस्तु प्रदान च सम्मानयती प्राचार्यवर्यान एवं गुरमूर्ति महोदयान च प्राथय भारत से प्रतिष्ठे दिवे संस्कृत संस्कृति उक्ति तो ज्ञाता परंतु प्रतिष्ठा दिवस्य प्रसारा अद्यत्व सांकेतिकताया अपेक्षा अस्ती महोदय से भाषण ज्ञात 